What's up guys, it's Strax here. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys the top four best male chart outfits to make using clothing glitches. So the outfits you do see in the thumbnail will be the outfits I'm gonna show you how to make. But the first outfit I'm wearing right here will be the first outfit I'm gonna show you on how to make in today's video. But for the first part, I'm gonna show you on how to get the black joggers for this outfit. So it's gonna be through the MOC. So to call in your MOC, you wanna go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to services, click on services, scroll down to mobile operation center, click on mobile operation center, and just request your MOC. After you do request your MOC, you can just hit pause and wait for it to spawn on the map. Mine will probably spawn right here. So whenever your MOC does spawn in, you're going to want to go ahead and just go to your MOC. And I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the back of my MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, log in and scroll down to the bottom and we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black joggers so just go ahead and launch this job and after you do launch this job you guys will need a friend to help you out and after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out you can just go ahead and start the job and for the difficulty make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives but i'll just get back to you whenever i do load into the job once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle and you're gonna wanna go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just gonna wanna change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just gonna go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter, but just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet. Go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. Once you do get to a clothing store and you are wearing the outfit with the black joggers, now for this outfit, you're gonna wanna head over here to your tops scroll down until you do find smart jackets which will be on slot 9 so click on smart jackets and you're going to look for the black silk jacket on slot 12. after you do equip the black silk jacket you can now just back out of your tops you should already have your pants which is the black joggers so you can walk over here to your shoes go to skate shoes which is on slot 3 and equip the all black skate shoes on slot 16. and after you have equipped the all black skate shoes you can now back out of your shoes walk over here to your accessories Scroll down to gloves on slot 7 and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. And once you have equipped the black woolen gloves, back out of your accessories, head over here to your hats, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and just buy and equip the black bulletproof. After you have bought the black bulletproof helmet, back out of your hats, head over here to your glasses, scroll down to sports glasses, go ahead and click on sports glasses and you're going to look for the mono outlaw goggles on slot 33. And after you have bought and equipped the mono outlaw goggles, they should go together with your bulletproof helmet. Now you can just back out of your glasses and to equip the parachute on your character, you're going to want to pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to parachute, click on parachute, set your parachute to on and set your bag to the black combat shoe bag, which will look like this. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, you will want to go to a gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags and then just look for the black combat shoot bag after you do buy the black combat shoe bag you can then back out of the front counter pull up your interaction menu go to style go to parachute set your parachute to on and it should already be set to the black combat shoot bag so now for this outfit we're going to go ahead and just head over here to the mass store 
When you have gotten to the mask door, walk over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask on slot 19, and look for the black hooded ski on slot 103. After you've equipped the black hooded ski, your glasses and your helmet will come off, so it should only be your mask with your outfit. Now, we're gonna head over here to the pier, so then we can do the telescope glitch and merge the glasses and helmet with this mask. After you have found a telescope on the pier, all you wanna do is the telescope glitch. So go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character glitches in place, and then he'll look towards the telescope, but your character's mask will not come off. With the recent update, your mask doesn't come off anymore, just like it did with the old update. But now with the uh, new update, your mask will stay on. So after you are glitched in place like this, you can now pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to accessories, click on accessories, scroll down to helmets, and all you want to do is scroll through your helmets until you do find the black bulletproof helmet. So you will see that your mask does come off, but you guys don't have to worry. Whenever you put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope and you will see that the mask and helmet combine together just like this. Now for the mono outlaw goggles, just go ahead and do the telescope glitch again. So go ahead and run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character glitches in place, looks towards the telescope. Now pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to the style, click on style, scroll down to accessories, click on accessories, scroll down to your glasses. And whenever you do scroll through your glasses, look for the mono outlaw goggles and your mask will come off. But after you find the mono outlaw goggles, it's going to be the same as the helmet. After you do find the goggles, you're just going to want to put away your interaction menu and then just walk away from the telescope. So I found the mono outlaw goggles. I, I put away my interaction menu. I walk away from the telescope and the mask, glasses and helmet all combined together just like this. Now for the final part, which is going to be the flight tube, which you saw on my outfit earlier, we're going to head over here to this clothing store right across from the strip club. So I will get back to you whenever I do get to that clothing store. When you do get to the clothing store across from the strip club, you're going to want to go ahead and walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and you're just going to want to save this outfit on any slot that you want. And after you do save the outfit, you can now back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down to flight suits whenever you do get to the clothing. So go ahead and scroll down to flight suits, which will be on slot nine, and you're going to equip the black flight suit, which is this outfit right here. After you do equip the black flight suit, you'll see that this outfit has the black flight tube. Once you are wearing this outfit, you're now going to want to go ahead and run across the street to the strip club. So whenever you are here at the uh, strip club, just go ahead and walk inside through the door just like this. You'll see that the flight tube does disappear. Now pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to your outfits, and just go ahead and equip the outfit with the black joggers that we did save earlier at the clothing store. After you do equip this outfit, just walk back outside the strip club, and you will see that the flight tube does transfer over to this outfit just like this. So now you're going to want to go ahead and run back to the clothing store and save this outfit. After you did save the outfit, that'll be pretty much it for this outfit. So I hope you guys do like this outfit. After you did save it, we can now just move on to the second male glitched outfit. Now for the second outfit that I'm going to show you on how to make, I'm going to show you guys on how to get this yellow outfit with the yellow rebreather. So to get the yellow rebreather, you will need to have an arcade. So I will get back to you whenever I do get to my arcade. When you do get to your arcade, you're going to want to walk over here to your setup board and on the setup, you're going to want to go to the select approach and you're going to want to set it to the big con, which is this bug stars band. You're going to want to go ahead and select the bug stars band. So it's going to be called the robbery using tricks and disguises, which is going to be the middle job right here. After you have selected this, you can then go ahead and press your right trigger, move over here to the board and all you're going to want to do is your entry disguise is the bug stars outfit or the bug stars gear, which will give you the yellow reaper their outfit so whenever you have done all this and you have done your uh your entry disguise as the bug stars gear you can then go over here to your final board your prep board and then you're just going to want to go ahead and select the heist when you load it into the big con job all you want to invite a friend or someone that you trust that can help you out and whenever someone does join you can just launch the job so whenever you guys are here and you guys are able to uh, choose your all your entry disguises and your exit disguises, all you want to do is set your entry disguise to the bug stars and then you guys can set your entrance, your exit, your exit disguise and whatever buyer you want to set it. And after you did set your entry disguise to bug stars, now you can just hit continue. And then once you are here and it does give you the option options for your outfits, you're going to want to scroll until you find the debugger, which gives you the yellow rebreather. After you do find the debugger outfit and just have your friend hit ready to play, now you can just hit ready to play. 
After you load into the job, all you want to do is just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, go ahead and scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to illuminating clothing, and all you want to do is scroll through illuminating clothing for one minute. And after you did scroll through illuminating clothing, I'll go back to you and tell you what you have to do after. After you've scrolled through illuminating clothing for at least one minute, all you want to do is also make sure your friend doesn't go to the yellow circle, but he can do whatever he wants. But after you've scrolled through illuminating clothing for at least one minute, if you're on Xbox and PlayStation, all you want to do is just go ahead and go to your Xbox or PlayStation home. And after you sit here for maybe three to five minutes, it should kick you from the job. But just make sure your friend does tell you or your friend can let you know whenever you guys got kicked from the job. Just make sure your friend doesn't die or he doesn't kill you and you should be good. But just let, just let your friend know or have your friend let you know when you got kicked from the job. When your friend tells you that you guys got kicked from the job, you can just go back into GTA Online. It'll say you got kicked. Now hit continue and you should just load back into a session with the debugger outfit. When you load back into a public session, you'll see that you're wearing the debugger outfit, which looks like this. And after your outfit does this, all you want to do is head to a clothing store. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to a clothing store. When you have made it to the clothing store, now you're going to want to walk over here to your hats. Scroll down to any selections of hat, it doesn't really matter. And you're just going to want to put on no top, which is on slot 1. After you have done that, you can now just back out of the hats. If your character does have a parachute on, just go to, go to parachute and set your parachute to off. And then this is what your outfit should look like so far. After your outfit does look like this, walk up here to the front counter. Hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on any slot that you want. So now after you did save the outfit, now I'm going to show you on how to make the outfit you see in the thumbnail. When you do have the yellow rebreather and you are at a clothing store, just to make sure you guys don't lose the outfit with the yellow rebreather, just go ahead and save it real quick so you can either go to your tops or the front counter and then you can save this outfit. And after you do save this outfit, now I can show you guys on how to make this yellow and black outfit. So to make this yellow and black outfit, you're going to want to walk over here to your tops scroll down until you do find bomber jackets which will be on slot 12 so click on bomber jackets and you're going to equip the black 22 bomber on slot 13. after you do equip the this bomber jacket you can now just back out of your tops head over here to your pants click on jeans which will be on the first slot and you're going to look for the midnight camo fitted on slot 41. after you've equipped the midnight camo fitted jeans back out of your pants head over here to your accessories Scroll down to gloves, which is going to be on slot 7, and you're going to equip the black fingerless gloves on slot 56. After you've equipped the black fingerless gloves, that'll be it for the accessories. Back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, scroll down to sneakers on slot 2, and you're going to look for the hazard high top sneakers on slot 22. And after you've equipped the hazard high top sneakers, you can back out of your shoes, head over here to your hats, Go to Bulletproof Helmets on slot 19 and just equip the black Bulletproof. And after you've equipped the black Bulletproof, you should see that it already does merge with the yellow rebreather. And this is where your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just walk up here to the front counter, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And after you did save this outfit, that's pretty much it. So whenever you did save this outfit, that'll be all. So now we can just move on to the third male glitched outfit. Okay guys, this will be the third outfit I'm going to show you how to make in today's video, but before we do make this outfit, I'm going to show you guys on how to get the IAA badge for this outfit if you guys are just wondering on how to get it. So for this to get the IAA badge, this is going to be the first mission that you normally do whenever the Agent ULP does call you. So whenever Agent ULP does call you, you should see that this U, this U icon does pop up on the map right here at the IAA building, and then you should see whenever you do get here that there is a yellow circle. You're going to want to go ahead and just walk into the yellow circle like this, hit right on the D-pad to play the job. So it should bring you into here. All you have to do is just confirm the settings, launch the job, and then after you do launch the job, it's going to show you outfits you can choose from with the IAA badge. It doesn't really matter because they all have the IAA badge. So just go ahead and choose the one that you want, and then you can just hit ready to play. When you load into the mission after the cutscene, you should see that you're wearing the outfit with the IAA badge. Now, all you want to do is pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to helmet visor, 
And all you want to do is just scroll through your helmet visor for 30 seconds. After you have scrolled through your helmet visor for at least 30 seconds, uh, I'm not sure. I think if you're on PlayStation, you can just sit here for maybe three minutes, maybe three to five minutes until it does kick you out. Uh, or if you guys want to go ahead and try it, because I know as us Xbox players, all we have to do is just go ahead and sit at our home. And then after we sit at our home for a few minutes, it does kick us out. So if you guys on PlayStation want to go and try it, or if that doesn't work sitting at your home, then you can just sit in GTA and wait until it does kick you out. But for us Xbox players, uh, all you want to do is just sit here and and just wait three minutes and then whenever three minutes is up go load back into GTA and it should say that it did kick you out of the session. After a few minutes is up you can now just load back into GTA it'll say that you got kicked from the session. Now go ahead and hit continue and you should load back into a public session with the outfit with the IAA badge. When you load back into a public session and you are wearing the outfit with the IAA badge, you're going to want to head to a clothing store and now we're going to go ahead and create the gray outfit you do see in the thumbnail. For that outfit, you're going to want to go ahead and walk over here to your tops, scroll down until you do find a party which is going to be right up here on slot 31. So click on party shirts and now you're going to look for the gray short or the gray leaves short sleeve which should be down here on slot 84. So you're going to want to go ahead and equip this party shirt. After you do equip the gray leaf short sleeve, you can go ahead and just back out of your tops real quick. Now to open the shirt, you're going to want to pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to, I guess you can go to jacket and set it to open. So if you guys go to jacket, press right on the once, you'll set it to open just like this. So after your shirt is open like this, walk back into your tops, scroll down until you find designer t-shirts which will be down here on slot 29. Click on designer t-shirts and scroll down until you find the black print t-shirt on slot 58. And after you do find the black print t-shirt, you can just back out of your tops. So get for the top, so just as long as you have the gray, the gray leaves short sleeve t-shirt and the black print t-shirt, you can now walk over here to your pants, click on jeans, which is on slot one, and you're gonna look for the black fitted jeans. So if you guys scroll down a little ways down here, you will find the black fitted jeans, which will be right here on slot 56. After you have equipped the black fitted jeans, you can now just back out of your pants, walk over here to your accessories, go ahead and scroll down to gloves, which will be on slot seven, click on gloves, and you're going to look for the gray fingerless gloves on slot 55 and go ahead and equip those gloves. When you have equipped the black fingerless gloves, you can now just back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, scroll down to skate shoes on slot three, and you're just gonna look for the all gray skate shoes, which will be right here on slot 15. So after you do equip these shoes, you can now just back out of your shoes and make sure your character has no head accessories on. So this is what your whole outfit should look like so far. And after your outfit does look like this, you're gonna wanna walk up here to the front counter. If your character does still have an earpiece from the IAA outfit, you can then just go and pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, and on gear, just scroll one time to the left once, and then scroll one time to the right back to none, and you should see that your character has nothing on his ears anymore. So, and so after your outfit looks like this, walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and you can save this outfit on any slot that you want. And after you do save this outfit on any slot that you want, if you are going to do the job called it's a G thing, you will want to save the outfit on slot one or slot 20. But if you're going to go ahead and do it through the heist, the heist uh, merge, then you guys can go and save it on any slot that you want. But uh, if you're doing it the other way, you will want to save it on slot one or slot 20. But after you did save the outfit on slot one or slot 20 or any slot that you wanted, you can now go ahead and back out of your edit saved outfits. Scroll down through the clothing until you find heist coveralls, which is on slot 13, and scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and just select one of these outfits with the toxic mask. So after you equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask, back out of the front counter and we're going to head over here to the pier so then we can do the telescope glitch and merge the mask from this outfit over to the outfit we just saved. When you find a telescope on the pier and you are wearing this outfit, all you want to do is the telescope glitch. Go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the d-pad. You'll see that the, that your character glitches where he just glitches in place and then he looks towards the telescope like this. Your mask doesn't disappear anymore. Your, your mask stays on your character. Recent update. So after your character looks like this with his mask on, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to your outfits and go ahead and equip the outfit we just saved earlier at the clothing store. So after you do equip this outfit, you can then just put away your interaction menu, 
walk away from the telescope and you will see that the mask does transfer over to this outfit just like this. And after your outfit looks like this, we're gonna head over here to the gun store and save this outfit. So when you are at the gun store, just walk over here to the top section and you're gonna wanna hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on slot one or slot 20 if you are doing the it's a G thing job or if you are doing the heist merge, then you guys can go and save it on any slot that you want. But after you did save the outfit, you can now just back out of your tops. And now we're gonna go and start up the job that's called a Titan of a job. So just go ahead and hit pause, scroll through online, click on jobs, go to play jobs, go to Rockstar Created, click on missions, and you're gonna look for the job that's called a Titan of a job and just start up that job. After you have loaded into the Titan of a Job mission, you should see that you aren't wearing the black print t-shirt anymore. So this is what your outfit should look like so far. When your outfit looks like this, just walk back over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on whichever slot you want. But like I said earlier, if you are doing it's a G thing, save it on slot one or slot 20. But after you have saved the outfit on whichever slot you want or on slot one or slot 20, you can then just go ahead and back out of your tops, pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. After you load back into a public session, you're then going to want to go ahead and run back inside the gun store, walk back over here to your tops, scroll down to vest, which will be at 47, click on vest, and look for any vest that looks like this, so it doesn't really matter which uh, vest you do equip as long as it does look like this, and it's not the sweater ones like this. But after you do equip a vest, you can then go ahead and back out of vest, scroll down to vest shirts, which is on slot 48, and this is the one that matters. You're gonna to wanna to go and equip the black band of vest shirt on slot 14. After you do equip the black band of vest shirt, you can then just back out of your tops. And now for this outfit, we're gonna head over here to my apartment or our apartment and we can just do the, the merge glitch or unless you're doing it's a G thing, I will leave a link in the description so then you guys can go and bookmark the job. And then after you bookmark the job, you can do the job. So for me, I'll, I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to my apartment. When you get to your apartment, you're going to want to go ahead and go into your heist planning board room. Whenever you get to your heist planning board room, go up to your heist planning board. And out of all the five heist, you're going to want to go and select the first one. That's called the flake of job. And after you do select the flake of job, the first job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called scope out. And after you complete the scope out mission, the second job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called Kuruma. And that's going to be the one we're going to be using for the merge glitch. So whenever you have the Kuruma job available, just launch that mission. When you load into the Kuruma job, you're going to want to set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. And after you have set your clothing to player saved outfits, you can then confirm your settings and then just invite random people. Or if you have a friend that can help you out, you can have them join. But whenever someone does join, you can then just launch the job. When you load into here on your owned outfits, go ahead and scroll to the slot to wherever you saved the outfit on. So this is what your outfit should look like so far. Whenever you do scroll to that outfit. Now, after your outfit looks like this, you can just hit ready to play. After you do load into the Kuruma job, all you need to do is pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you load back into a public session, if you guys did the, the heist merge, you'll see whenever you load back into a public session that you are wearing the vest and the vest shirt. You're now going to want to go ahead and find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. But then whenever you do find a car, get inside that car, pull up your interaction menu and register as a CEO. After you do register as a CEO, you can now pull up your interaction menu again, click on secure serve CEO, or you can do your motorcycle club. It doesn't matter your CEO or motorcycle club. And you're just going to want to go ahead and go to your management, go to CEO style or MC style. And on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left and then scroll one time to the right back to none. Now hop out of the car and you will see that the IAA badge does merge with the outfit just like this. So now to finish the rest of the outfit for the mask and helmet, we're going to head over here to the mask store. When you are at a mask store, just walk over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask, which is on slot 19, and scroll down near the bottom until you find the gray tight ski, which is on slot 113, and you're going and you're to want to go ahead and equip that mask. After you do equip the great tight ski, you can now just back out of the mask store, walk over here to the hats, which is on the left side of the mask, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19, and just equip the black bulletproof. And after you do equip the black bulletproof helmet, that'll be pretty much it for this outfit. So now you can either go to the mask, the hats, or the tops, or just go to the clothing store and save this outfit, because that's pretty much it for this outfit. This is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. 
So after your outfit looks like this and you did save it, that's pretty much it. So now we can just move on to the fourth outfit. Okay guys, so for the final outfit I'm gonna show you how to make in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys on how to make this outfit with the black pouches. So for this outfit, you're gonna wanna walk up here to the front counter and you're gonna wanna scroll down to the Diamond Casino Heist, which is on slot 50, and scroll down to Infiltration Upgraded Tech, which is on slot 10, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and e either equip the Schemer outfit or you can go ahead and equip the Conspirator outfit. So just one of those two that will give you this sweater because for some reason, you, whenever you do get back to the clothing store after you are glitched out, you can't go to your tops and change your top, but you are able to change your pants, your gloves, your mask, your helmet, and just certain other accessories except your top, which sucks. So for the outfit that I'm making, you can either use the schemer or the contemplator, which will give you this black sweater. So after you do equip this outfit, you're not going to want to go ahead and just back out of the front counter and you're going to want to take off any head accessories that your character has. So after you take off your head accessories, walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and you're just going to want to save this outfit on any slot that you want. It doesn't matter. And after you do save it, you're going to want to go ahead and back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down through your clothing until you find heist coveralls, which is on slot 13 and scroll down from slot nine through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. And after you've equipped one of these outfits, back out of the front counter, and now we're gonna head over here to the pier, so then we can do the telescope glitch and merge the mask from this outfit over to the outfit we just saved. After you do find a telescope on the pier and you are wearing the toxic mask outfit, just do the telescope glitch. Go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character glitches in place, looks towards the telescope this, and your character's mask won't come off like it used to in the old update, but with the recent update, your mask stays on, but your character's uh, still glitched, glitched in place. So now you can pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to your outfits, and go and equip the outfit you just saved earlier at the clothing store with the black pouches. After you did save this outfit, you can then, or after you did equip the outfit, you can then put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask merges over with this outfit just like this. So now after your outfit looks like this, we're now gonna head over here to the gun store and save the outfit. Once you are at the gun store, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just walk over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on whichever slot you wanted once again. After you did save the outfit, you can now back out of your tops and now we're gonna start up the job that's called a Titan of a job. So go ahead and hit pause, scroll to online, click on jobs, go to play job, go to rockstar created, click on missions, look for the job that's called a Titan of a job and just start up that job. When you are in the Titan of a job mission, you should see that your outfit looks like this without the uh, utility vest under the pouches. So whenever your outfit looks like this, just walk back over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on whichever, whichever slot you want again. And after you do save the outfit, you can now just back out of your tops, pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. Once you are back in a public session, now I'm gonna show you guys on how to make the outfit and the thumbnail with the black pouches. So for this outfit, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just head over here to your pants. Whenever you do get to the pants, click on jeans, which will be on the first slot, and you're gonna look for the midnight camo fitted jeans. So the midnight camo fitted jeans will be right here on slot 41, and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and equip these. After you do equip these jeans, you can now just back out of your pants, walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, which will be on slot seven, and you're just gonna look for the white cotton gloves, which will be on slot 53. After you've equipped the white cotton gloves, back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, scroll down to slip-ons on slot 12, and you're gonna look for the white canvas slip-ons on slot nine. Once you've equipped the white canvas slip-ons, you can now back out of your shoes. Now walk over here to your hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets on slot 19, and just equip the black bulletproof. And now after you've equipped the black bulletproof helmet for the final part, it's going to be the body armor. For the body armor, all you want to do is pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to inventory, click on inventory, scroll down to body armor, click on body armor, scroll down to your show armor, and you're going to look for the standard armor, which is this black vest. And after you do equip the standard armor, this is what your finished outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And that's pretty much it for these four glitched outfits for your male character. So I hope you guys did enjoy these four outfits. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.